Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about that GCP Cloud Source Repository and Cloud Build with Terraform. In this video, we are going to cover the brief overview about the Google Cloud Build, which including the features and benefits. This is our agenda of this video. We'll talk about that Cloud Build and creating that Cloud Build using Terraform. What is a Cloud Build? It's allow you to automate the building, testing and the deployment of your software applications. It's help to that improve your speed and the reliability of your software delivering process. You can also importing the source code from the cloud storage, GitHub, big packet and the cloud source repositories. The cloud will executing your build as a series of your build steps. Features and benefits, we'll see the features and benefit one by one. The first one is that continuous integrations and continuous delivery, we can call as the CACD. The cloud will provide and automated the CACD pipelines. You can deploy your code to the GCP service like container registries, app engines or the Kubernetes engines. Next one is that source code management. The cloud build can integrate in with the popular source code management tool like GitHub or Bigpacket and many more. Next one is that supporting native Docker. You can, you can import your existing Docker file and pushing the image directly to that Docker hub or external container registries. Next one is that integrating with GCP service. You can integrating with the other GCP service like Cloud Run and many more. Next one is that automatically performing the package variability part. Yes, scanning for the variability image based on your policies depends upon the organization it can be varying. Next one is that multi-language support. It support that wide range of programming language including Java, Python and many more. Next one is that deploying across the multiple environment. Yeah, you can able to deploy the applications on VMware, serverless and even Kubernetes as well. Moving to the next slide, architecture diagram. Using the Terraform, you are setting the Google Cloud build. The first we are going to enabling that API service for both service. After that, we are provisioning the cloud source repositories. Later on that, we are provisioning that cloud build. So the entire sequence of the task we return with the Terraform, we'll see the code one by one. We are moving to the Visual Studio code. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. Uh, we can see that uh, Terraform code one by one. The first one I'm going to see at that main.tf file. The first one is that local value. The local value mainly used for to assigning the name to the expressions. You can see here I created the services. In this list, I defined that two type of API. One is that source repo another for the cloud repo. So the both API I am defining here. The next resource is that Google project service. Basically that here we are enabling the API service before creating the resource. You can see here I am using the for each. For each basically to iterate on the list on the resource. Uh, I am using the two set because uh, removing the duplicate I am providing the list value it be converted to the set value. So that was the reason only I am using the two set. Next argument is the project. The project uh, argument I refer from the variable. The next argument is the service. I'm using the for each. I'm storing that each value in the key. The next resource is that uh, Google source repository. Here I'm creating the repository. Uh, defining the name called in the variable. I'm using the depend on because once the API is enabled, then only I'm going to create the source code repositories. So next resource is that Google Cloud Build Tigger. This resource mainly used to that automatically initiating your build pipeline when the certain condition is that match. For example, uh, someone is trying to push the changes to the repository. In this case, the pipeline can be Tigger. Uh, next to parameter is the descriptions. I am providing the cloud source repository Tigger and a couple of arguments I referred from that uh, variable section. Next argument is that uh, Tigger underscore template. Uh, this particular template is describing the type of source changes to get to the build. In my case, I using that uh, cloud source repository, but if someone want to integrate with the GitHub, that also is possible. 
next or human is the substitutions uh, that mainly is to that passing your uh, build resource to that cloud.yml file uh, next or human is that file name the cloud build or yml file what is a configuration file it will be containing that build instructions my case i am provided some uh, empty value here next argument is that including underscore files uh, you can including that matching the patterns in my case i am including the all the files next argument is that depend on uh, once that uh, the repository is created then only i am going to initiating that cloud build ticker so we are moving to that terminal to executing the terraform operations so i'm going to click the three dot uh, i click the new terminal just i'm elaborating the terminal so here directly i type that terraform git command to downloading the all the plugins yes I next time i'm executing the terraform plan command to validate my syntax and to find variables see that uh, plan output uh, the whole resource going to add there is a no geo changes no destroy next time going to executing the terraform apply command so i'm providing the user input is yes now the api service is enabling right now now the source repository is creating you can see the output uh, you can come to know what are the service is going to create yeah now the terraform operation is successfully completed uh, we will going to that gcp console page so we are at that gcp console page uh, i am going to search with that uh, cloud build just i click that uh, dashboard uh, you can see a thing uh, my sample docker app is created here but uh, there is a no build execution because i am not provided that uh, uh, any build instruction in that uh, cloud build.yml file i'm going to check on that repositories yeah the sample docker app the cloud source repository currently integrated you can see the connections uh, then I'm going, going to check on that triggers. Uh, triggering tabs also properly integrating with my repositories. Uh, you can see the event pushing to the branch. So any changes happening in the, my branch is automatically triggering this event. Uh, if you want, you can executing that manually also. You can uh, click that run button. So that's all this video. So I hope uh, this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.